What's going on guys, this is Burrs. Got an HD Glock 19 video uh, here for you. I'm gonna show you how to clean it in HD. First things first, let's talk some gun safety. This gun is loaded. How do we check that it's unloaded? Magazine release, rack the slide, safe direction, we're safe now. Now some of the tools you'll need for this are a nylon brush, patch and brush, um, runner through her, <laughs> some uh, gun oil, I'm using the M Pro 7 Gun Oil LPX, some cleaner, this is Ballastol, I like to use Q-tips, and some patches, and blue shop towels always help. So to get started with the disassembly, what you want to do, rack the slide, safe direction. Now at this point you want to put your thumb across the side in the back like this, bring your pointer finger over the top, pull the slide back a little bit and these little knobs here, pull down on those, let go of the slide and the slide will come off. Then you want to take your recoil spring out by pushing forward. You push forward and lift up. Then you can push your barrel out and you have disassembled your Glock 19. Now at this point what I'll do is I'll go ahead and spray some cleaner down the slide here. Spray a little bit in here. The majority of it you want to keep away from the firing pin. The firing pin right here, you want to keep the majority of it away from there. So you want to spray away from there and you want to clean there with, uh, you can use alcohol or you can just spray a Q-tip with some Ballastol and uh, clean it like such. But I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to take some patches, I'm going to stuff them right into the barrel at the end, and I'm going to spray cleaner down there to let sit. I'll spray the outside as well. Ballastol is also a lubricant, so this will also assist with your rust prevention. And you spray the spring down, the recoil spring, set that aside. Now we will turn our attention to the lower half. You want to go ahead and spray down some of the parts there and you want to let that sit there for a minute. You want to grab your brush and go ahead and brush down all the areas here. Every area you see, particularly one that has metal, brush it down. At that point you can take a towel, wipe off the top, wipe off all these areas back here. And break out your q-tips at that point. So now you want to get in all the little areas here. And get down the, uh, the rail slide here, the top, and the barrel recess. As you can see there's some dirt coming off of there. All the little nooks and crannies you wanna you wanna get in. One thing you wanna be careful of is letting. If you're gonna use Q-tips, you wanna make sure you don't let residual Q-tip um, cotton in there. So be careful not to leave any any excess Q-tips in there. All right, once you got that pretty well clean, and if you need to clean anything else, all you need to do is spray the end of your Q-tip and keep cleaning. You can set that off to the side. And we'll turn our attention 
to the slide. You want to take your nylon brush and brush down the slide rail here. Brush down pretty much everything. That bow stall at this point is pretty well absorbed in and it has done its job in cleaning. You can take the smaller side here and go down the rails. And once you feel confident, you can go ahead and take that blue shop towel and wipe down what you can with it. Then we'll turn our attention to our Q-tip and get in all the nooks and crannies and dry this out. You definitely want around the fire pin, the firing pin, you definitely want that very um, dry. You don't want that lubricated in any way really. And you go down the slide rails there. And you're going to bump the camera because that's how professionals do it. Okay, as you can see we got some dirt off of there. And go ahead and get up in the front there. Again, particularly right here in this area where the firing pin is. Alright, so that pretty much takes care of that. Off to the side. Now we'll turn our attention to the recall spring. Very simple. Just wipe it off. Just run that right on the on the towel there. As you can see, not a lot there. Now, turn our attention to the barrel. <clears throat> first things first, let's take our nylon brush. And I just brush pretty much everything I can get my hands on here. And once you get that all done, you can go ahead and take your towel, take the end out of the barrel, and you want to take your towel, hold it around the barrel, and run a few passes through. Alright, once that's done, Make sure you wipe the outside of the barrel all off. And you're going to switch your attention to either if you, this is actually, this will come with your Glock. This is a cleaning rod, which at the end has slots for the uh, patches. So I'll go ahead and take some patches, put them through here. And I'll run that through here. I'm gonna run enough patches through to be happy with the uh, cleaning. Obviously this is already clean pretty much. So, as you can see, there really isn't going to be too much residue left on there. Just what the ballast all left. I'll take a new towel now and wipe off as much as I can here. As much as I can. Wipe off all the stuff here. 
I'm getting this little area there with the Q-tip. This here, third there. Alright, now everything is clean. So now we're going to turn our attention to the oiling segment. And the one thing you have to know about a Glock is it doesn't need a ton of oiling. It just needs a tad, not a ton. What I do is I'll take a dab here on the outside, about that much. I'll work that all around the barrel. Now with a good oil, you don't need a ton of it. dab right in the inside there. If you feel you got too much, go ahead and take your Q-tip and use it. Okay, that ought to do it for the barrel. Now let's turn our attention to the bottom portion of the gun. Now for this, what I'll do is all the metal parts you see here, I'll go ahead and put a drop. And then I'll take a Q-tip and I'll work it in with the Q-tip. You definitely want to get all the metal parts that you see. That's the easiest way to explain it. So that's that on the bottom. On a slide you want to go ahead and do a drop down the slide, take a Q-tip, run it down. Flip it down, drop, and run it down. I'll put some here as well. Just a smidge staying away from the firing pin and I'll put a little bit right here whenever I see metal I'll put a little bit you also want to put some here where the recoil spring sits and also at the end here where the barrel sits and everything to be nice and lightly lubricated alright if you feel you need to put a little bit more on just put a dab. You do not need a ton. Make sure to put a coating on the bottom also of your slide. Now we are going to take the spring. We're going to put a dab on your finger and just run it down. Okay, that's it. You probably throughout this whole process only need about four drops. To reassemble, what you want to do is take the barrel like this, put it in, push it forward, and back. You want to take the recoil spring with the rounded part forward, and it's going to sit right on this ledge here. So you push it forward. And down and it's going to sit in there make sure it's in there and recessed or it's not going to work properly now you're going to take the bottom of the gun and if you can see that there you're going to line up your rails and slide it back like such so that is how you clean your Glock 19. If you guys got any questions or anything, uh, let me know. Leave the comments below. Here's the HD version. Till next time. Later.